relations between Russia and Britain have suffered another blow. British officials have indicated that music is no longer a common language. British army bagpipers have been stopped from traveling to Russia to take part in the four-day Moscow military tattoo called the Kremlin Zoria. We always thought music crosses all boundaries and in my business uh, of producing tattoos we've had acts from all over the world, whatever their political persuasion. Brigadier Mel Jameson, former head of the famous Edinburgh military tattoo, also acted as an advisor to the event in Moscow. Now he's had to cancel his trip, along with many others who've been preparing for it well in advance. So it's terribly sad and we feel um, very sad that uh, this um, Pipes and Dramas mass pipes are going to Moscow has been stopped by the government. The masked pipes and drums of the Scottish regiments played alongside the Kremlin Guard and the German military band in Red Square. Mikhail Lermontov, who believes he has a Scottish officer among his ancestors, finds it hard to believe this year's event has to be cancelled. Our cultural traditions and values don't depend on political decisions. They won't be able to change them no matter what they do. I went to last year's event, it was such a show, and we absolutely loved it. And those emotions is something you can't take from the people. But Britain's Foreign Office stands firm by its statement backed by the Ministry of Defense. In light of the Russian military action in Georgia, we no longer feel it is appropriate for a British Army military band to attend the Kremlin Zoria. As the Foreign Secretary has made clear, it is not business as usual with Russia. Ordinary people in the street find it hard to see a rationale behind this decision. They feel politics should never affect cultural ties. I think it should uh, stay well out of uh, situations like that, uh, particularly something as important as a military tattoo, particularly something as important as you know, interrelations between Britain and Russia. They're, they're musicians, uh, pipers, and um, I can't see any reason why um, Russia and Scotland have always had very good relations. So um, I don't see why they shouldn't visit Russia. Kremlin Zoria, a non-governmental organization, was founded with the help of the organizers of the Edinburgh military tattoo. And the strength of ties between Edinburgh and Moscow were illustrated when the Russians sent a band here to replace an American team that pulled out at the last minute. Now good relations between Scots and Russians are in the hands of politicians. And it seems that the sound of music is not reaching the ears of those who've taken the decision to deprive people of some of their simple pleasures. Daria Pushkova, RT, Edinburgh.